Well done. Your performance was most impressive. And you managed to remain calm even in these grueling dragonspine surroundings. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. Given such an outstanding performance, it seems there is little left for me to teach you. Like Paimon said, adventuring is our specialty! Uh, <laughs> so, that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of Dragonspine before Paimon turns into a popsicle! <sighs> Hold on. I was commending the Traveler's performance just now. You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress at all. Uh, what? You mean Paimon was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Uh, hey! That's not true! Paimon was just focusing on you the whole time! Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. Huh. Now, drink this. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Are you trying to poison Paimon? Certainly not. It's warm milk. Didn't you just say that you were freezing? Drink it and it'll help warm you up. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance now, wouldn't it? So, dear friend, don't die on me out here. Ah! Paimon knew something was off! All in the name of vengeance. No need to thank me. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time we return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. <laughs> 